Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on reading negative values off a scale. Now hopefully you've seen my previous videos on how we read values off a scale. The only difference here is that the values on the scale are negative. Now when you have negative numbers, as you go up from like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc, the numbers actually go from right to left rather than left to right. And we saw in a previous video that what we do is we look at the gap between two numbers on the scale. So you can see this is a distance of one from minus six to minus seven. That's a difference of one. And we split that into how many different regions we see. So we can see one gap, two gaps, three gaps, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is split up into ten equal bits. You'll usually find it's either split up into two or into four or into five or into ten. So if I split up a whole, because this difference is a whole, into 10, then each little bit will be worth a tenth, because if you divide a whole by 10, you get a tenth. So as we go from right to left, because we have negative numbers, we go from right to left rather than left to right. If that's minus 6, then if we decrease it by a tenth, that's then going to be minus 6.1. Remember, 0.1, the 1 is a tenth digit, and then it's going to go minus 6.2, minus 6.3, minus 6.4, minus 6.5, and then minus 6.6, .6, then minus 6.7, then minus 6.8, which is the answer, then minus 6.9, and then minus 7. So the only key point here is that we go from right to left for negative numbers rather than left to right, as we usually would for positive numbers. So the answer is minus 6.8.